Hi guys and welcome back to a new vlog. I just got home from uni. It was such a long day. I had my history lecture and then Korean class, vocabulary test, scored 87 this time, not 100. Like yesterday, I don't know what it was, but I just really could not get out of bed and I really wasn't feeling well, so I actually skipped uni yesterday. But today we went, but however, I just also barely had the energy to do any homework yesterday, so I finished as much as possible as I could and studied for the vocab as much as possible however it's just yeah so oh they actually gave me a free can at the station iced tea nice so yeah it's now like like 4 34 i have some korean homework to do for tomorrow and i'll also be vlogging tomorrow by the way uh, I have some Korean homework to do and two days ago and Hypen finally released like their trailer for their comeback and yesterday the information about the new album came out so like all, about all the inclusions and stuff so I'm actually also going to continue filming my video for setting up my binders I already did M Team a couple of days ago but since and Hypen has released info I'm gonna like add that together so I also filmed that uh, later like I actually do want to do my homework first and then have dinner and then like uh, start filming or maybe before dinner depends when dinner is done because obviously since like since the days are a lot longer now i can even film at like seven if i want to because the sun goes down at like nine so yeah so i have time to do my homework first and then i'll uh, continue filming and that's basically going to be my day i'm very excited for tomorrow because i'm actually going to uh, king's night with my friend Romy and it's so unfortunate because on King's Day, like I don't have uh, I don't have uni on King's Day. But King's Day is always like very festive here in the Netherlands. However, I really cannot do anything on King's Day. I didn't have plans anyway, but I also cannot do anything because I actually have a deadline on King's Day. Our teacher didn't want to give us like extra time, but I sort of understand. So, and I also still haven't started on that assignment yet. It's about linguistics for methods. I haven't started on it yet. I planned to start yesterday, but today yesterday just wasn't it. Also guys, I was actually going through my playlist on Spotify earlier, the one that Spotify like makes for you when uh, it shows you th songs that you're currently having on repeat. And I think it would be interesting to tell you guys, because obviously you guys know I listen to K-pop, but I don't really like talk about a lot of K-pop groups here. I really feel like on my channel, obviously I talk about Enhypen because they are my ults, but like, yeah, I think it would be cool to tell you guys what i'm currently listening to because you guys are probably interested in that as well the funny thing is like my on repeat playlist it doesn't have any and hypen in it i really haven't been listening to and hypen lately because like it has been such a long time since our last comeback so and i mean in the meantime i'm discovering new music so i listen to that more but i'm so glad that and is making a comeback soon on the 22nd of may and i'm so excited i do have playlists on spotify like like, I do have a lot, but they're just, most of them are in public, because some are just playlists that I like to keep for myself. I do have, like, three um, public playlists on my Spotify, so if you go to my profile, then you can see it. I'll link my Spotify profile down below. Then you can see, like, three playlists there. The songs that I've been on repeat lately, I'll just name them all. But Venus by Jay, uh, it's, it's, like, his new release. New Days from Trends, very good song. Bad Revenge from From 20. This song, you guys are probably going to be questioning me, but it's Drive You Insane by Daniel D'Angelo. It's it's like my guilty pleasure, okay? Don't judge. Gotcha from Park Ji-hoon. I know it's like sort of old song, I think, but there are some oldies in between, which I just like to listen. I Am from I've, like their new title track, So Obsessed, has been on repeat. Say from Johnny and Tobias Dre. Sorry is Never Enough by Corbin. Blank Effects from Park ji -hoon. That's this like new release. This is so painful to, to name. Madness by Moonbin and Sanha. Like when that came out I was listening to it on repeat and just listening to that doesn't feel the same anymore. Moonbin may you rest in peace. Uh, Nostalgia by Johnny and JB. Set Me Free Part 2 from Jimin. VVS uh, from Show Me The Money 9. Dancing In The Dark by Hello Goo. Zone by Johnny. Spring Breeze by Kim J1, Achoo's also from Show Me The Money, Like Crazy by Jimin, Olaf from PH1 and Googie. There's lots of like PH1 and, and Johnny songs in here because I've been listening to them a lot ever since the concerts. Oh, it's like a French song, Ramenez la coupe à la maison by... I don't know how to pronounce them, I'm so sorry. 
Rover from Kai. Amazing song. Beautiful Liar from Monsta X. After like by Ive. I feel like Ive is like the only female artist in this playlist at the moment. But After Like it has been also one of my favorites. Sugar Rush Ride from Tomorrow by Together. I absolutely really love that whole album. Uh, Halasia from 80s. Zombies by PH1. Unbelievable by Lucy. Lucy, like, if you like K bands, you'll love them. And they also have, I don't know how you say the person who plays that instrument, but there's someone who plays the violin. Like, so cool. Lucy is so underrated. Y'all should listen to Lucy. Okay, Happy Fools uh, from Tomorrow by Together, also on that same album. Cyberpunk from 80s. And then final is Cupid by PH1 and Penomeco. That has basically been the songs that I've been on repeat lately. <laughs> like I said, like I was the only female artist on here, but don't get me wrong. I I'll definitely listen to girl groups as well, female artists. But yeah, that's basically been it. So... Yeah, I'm gonna go get changed and get started on my homework, but I really don't want to, but... So I just finished doing my homework. I finished up, I finished my workbook, checked everything. Also did my um, reading homework. I also wanted to do listening, but I really don't feel like it right now. And we're also going to do it tomorrow in class, anyways. So it's not that much big of a deal if I haven't done the reading. I mean the listening thing. Like obviously I had to do the reading, but if you don't do the listening before class, then it's fine. Um, it's like almost six now. I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna have some dinner first and then I'll uh, continue filming for my binders. I really thought about like maybe starting on my assignment for methods tonight but I just I honestly really do not feel like it and yeah like it's just things have been a lot lately. Like I have been so tired like yesterday I was so tired. I think it was also because uh, the day before, so on Sunday, I had a birthday of a friend in Amsterdam, but we actually did meet up quite late at like 8 or, or 9, almost 9 really. And then I had to go home, but then I missed my last tram, so my dad had to pick me up at 1 a.m. So obviously I went to bed like late, it was like 1.30. And then that's when I really couldn't get up in the morning. But I've had it like multiple times before, that even if I went to bed like very late at like 2 and I had to get up like 4 or 5 hours later for uni, I just went anyways. But and I was also planning to go really yesterday, but it's just, I don't know, it's so weird because like I set my alarm, my alarm went off and it's just I really didn't feel like it. So I went back to sleep and then I basically woke up at like 11 again and then I didn't get out of bed until 12.30 because I really could not get out of bed. It was so, oh my god. I don't know what that was, but like today I was, I am feeling a lot better though. But even though I'm still like, not really like having the energy to do anything if that makes sense. Also mentally like, it has been okay. Like, like I remember in my last vlog I said I was, I've finally started to feel getting better. But I think there's always something that's like, nope, we're not gonna, do, you're not better yet. <laughs> so, and it's basically today. I really want to go travel this summer. It's just that it's so complicated because obviously I cannot travel by myself and also all my friends like 
they already have plans or stuff like that or they don't have money but i also asked my sister but she also having difficulty with money at the moment i really do want to go traveling this summer and maybe go to a nice sunny destination like i haven't been to like a, like a sun vacation it, it has been eight years since that was the last time i actually went on a sunny vacation i went so Ibiza with my Ibiza, Ibiza? like in Dutch we say Ibiza, but like I think it's like Ibiza, like in English, yeah. I went to Ibiza with my sisters like eight years ago, literally. Like it, it's like this summer's gonna be eight years, and I really feel like if I go to Korea uh, this fall, I really want to have at least one sunny vacation before that. Like I really want to go travel somewhere like before I go to Korea and just during the summer. And maybe if that won't work out, maybe like a birthday trip uh, for like, because my birthday is on August 15th. Like maybe a little birthday trip, like a midweek to Italy would be nice, not gonna lie. Because last summer I went to Berlin with my friends for like a midweek. That was very fun. I also have a vlog about that. So maybe something like that if a sun, a sun vacation doesn't work out. But I really do, really do want to travel this summer. I'm gonna manifest I am gonna travel this summer. So yeah, that really. Oh, also I really need to wash my hair. Like I think I'm gonna do it today because um, I was planning to like uh, film a video about my new wash day routine because it has been updated. But um, I wanted to wait until the day I'm filming it. Like, I think I'm gonna film it either Friday or Sunday because I have to work on, sat on Saturday all day. My planning has been all over the place lately because I was supposed to film my binder actually yesterday. But like I mentioned, yesterday was just such a hard time. Like, also of the homework I had to do, I just couldn't get to it. So I'm gonna continue that today and yeah because usually my filming day is on Monday but so I was actually planning to um, film either Friday or, or Sunday to wash my hair but I don't think it's gonna last until Friday or Saturday or Sunday and it kind of stinks as well so I actually really do need to wash it and also since I'm going for King's Night tomorrow ugh, I need to go wash it like I really don't feel like it but it is what it is I'm sorry guys if it feels like I'm complaining so much but I just want to be real with you guys, so I'm gonna go continue with all the things that I have to do, and yeah. So it is the next day, I got home from uni earlier, took a shower and washed my hair. It's like still drying now, I'm very wet, so I put it like in ponytail. I really wanted to wash my hair like last night, but I just really didn't have the energy for it. I'm gonna go and edit a video real quick. It's like, oh wait, I have to put my laptop in the charger. Let me do that first. I'm gonna edit my video now. I also was supposed to edit that video yesterday, but I just really didn't have like the energy for it so i'm gonna do that real quick because i want to get it up today as well it's a video where i'm setting up my binder for end team and then hypens comeback so let me airdrop that video first because i filmed it on my phone um, then i'm gonna get ready for king's night because i'm heading to the city with Romi. and then tomorrow i just have to get started on that assignment that we just literally do tomorrow before midnight Ugh, i just really don't feel like it I also want to tell you guys something. If you watch my vlogs for a long time, you'll probably know that I got a helix piercing like last year. It's like over here, there's currently a ring now. And I'm actually gonna get something, well, actually multiple things for this ear too. Because on this ear, first of all, please excuse the breakout, like let's pretend she ain't here. I want to get something for this like ear as well because right now it only has like my first lobe but nothing special but i actually do want to get like a double helix here and then a second lobe here as well and then for this ear i also actually want to get a third lobe like i really wanted to have something on here but i didn't want to get like just a single helix because i felt like it would just be like you know the same so i wanted to get a double instead because i wasn't really sure if i wanted the piercing at like another place so i just basically went for the safe way if that makes sense I have my appointment for that like next weekend, so I am very excited. Speaking of appointments, I actually do have to cancel my laser appointment, which was scheduled on Saturday, because I have to work, so I have to cancel that. Okay, I have to actually 
get started with editing like real fast okay or else i'm gonna be late i already texted romy if we could meet a bit later so yeah i'm gonna get to editing now